Hello, we're here with another podcast. It's day three of the podcast sessions, and we're in the van outside the venue in Lincoln, the lovely city of Lincoln. <laughs> we well, wait, hit them up with your uh, your knowledge. My knowledge. Oh yeah. Knowledge bomb. It turns out that when it was built in, I believe it was thirteen fifteen. Um, <laughs> Lincoln Cathedral was the tallest building in the world. Little fact for you there. Isn't that actually the tallest building in the world? Like a few times because it kept getting knocked down and then built back up again. Apparently it burnt down. It yeah, it, burnt. it got hit by lightning too. Oh, did it? Yeah. Fuck me. Sweet. Oh, there. Well, there we go. Some his- <laughs> history. A bit of local knowledge. I'm the from the promoter part. here um, <laughs> heard our first. The promoter here heard our, heard our first podcast about beans and bought us a selection of beans, which is very lovely of her. And then, well, how were the beans, Steve? Beans are wicked. I went for the um, the Tesco ones, but they're not the value ones because the value ones had uh, no ring pull and I haven't got a tin opener. So, yeah, they're wicked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mention what, what about the ring... Oh, I'll say it then. <laughs> when we were talking about beans before, only the Heinz ones had ring pulls on them, right. but... These Tesco ones oh, mm. actually do have a ring pull on. Is this going to be Beans Part 2? I didn't, I didn't want it to be Beans <laughs> Part 2. We did have a topic two. planned. I spilt it down my trousers. <coughs> and that... so this has opened a new window because Jake's, Jake's argument was that Heinz were the best because they had a ring pull. No, and no they tasted Heinz good. No, no, it's more than one of the, the devil. One of the we factors go. were a ring pull. I'm just popping into the shop for some more backies. Does anyone need or want anything? No, we're fine, thanks. We're fine, thank fine, you. Thanks. We're just talking about your, your bean information that you filled in. We're doing, we're another, doing another podcast. podcast. <laughs> doing a podcast. You're, you're, you're in it. Brilliant. <laughs> thank going. you for the beans, they're wicked. <laughs> yeah, well, I got you a few uh, variations. Unfortunately, the one that didn't have the ring pull because I know someone complained about not having me. a ring pull. <laughs> <laughs> How, do they How do they compare to the Heinz ones? To be fair, I. You've got beans <laughs> on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> In, in taste difference, I would say they're mildly similar. Whoa. Mildly similar? Yeah. That doesn't really work. Yeah, mildly similar. They are mildly similar. Stick, I, think, I think that Stick means they're similar. Statement. They're yeah. pretty much the that, same. That, that's blown a hole in the, the beans talk. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want me to get you some more beans? They might have some different variations at that shop. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I, think, I think we're good <laughs> for beans for a while. <laughs> but thanks. Get some broad beans. <laughs> some kidney <What>? beans. <laughs> <laughs> Black beans. Pinto beans. Right, then. How many beans can we name? <laughs> what has gone on with this podcast? Dave. <laughs> How many beans can we name? <laughs> the actual green topic. Beans, oh, keep, keep interrupting me with choices of beans. <laughs> the actual topic is we're going to get to it now. We're three minutes in almost. <laughs> is uh, fucking slackers. If you're in a film, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if if there was a film about your life, what actor would play you and why? Now I'm going to be a bit big-headed about this. And I'm going to go with Jude Law because he's an attractive Englishman, <laughs> much much like myself. Yeah, he doesn't have a Brummie accent, a really annoying Brummie accent. And he isn't a dick. Everybody can tell dick. listening to the podcast that I have a very slight Brummie accent, not like it's a broad still annoying, one. Though. I'd go for Emil Heskey for you. Emil Heskey. <laughs> he's from Leicester. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And he's he black. Falls, <laughs> because he falls down all the time and you do that too. <laughs> I'm and he's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone still likes him. He's not very good at football, and neither are you. Okay, well, it, it's either Jude Law it's or Emil Heskey. To be fair, also, the similarities are that Emil Heskey keeps on getting picked for the England squad. As do you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's really funny, that. Yeah. Anybody else got any suggestions for their own character? Um, I, I'd have to go for Arge, I think. Arge from The Only Way is Essex? Yeah. Because you look like him. Because he's a bit chubby, and <laughs> yeah, I look a bit like him, apparently. Yeah, so, he can't really act, though. Well, yeah, neither can I, so. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> if, you were doing, if you were playing yourself, though, you wouldn't have to act because you'd just be yourself. Yeah, but I'd be in a film, so there would be some acting involved. Yeah. But it might be like um, that program that I can't Do remember. Do you get the, the concept? Name of. Huh? Do you get the concept? I think I'm confusing myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the concept ooh, is, the if there was a film about your life, who would play you? You're not be oh yeah, because if be you were replaced with somebody yeah, yeah, to, be yeah. your, to be yourself. Like, they don't have to actually drum, they could mime for the... It's like, it's, you were, but you they would be saying, acting. You were sort of saying that because Cass, in general, can't act very well, it means that this guy would suit him well. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what Cass said. Because he said he doesn't have to act because I can't act. That was a I joke. am so fucking <laughs> That was really awkward in real life as well. <laughs> 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 Looks at the camera a lot in real life as well. Oh, uh, hi guys. <laughs>
think it's time we moved on from Cassidy's and Jessica's lines. Jake, how about you? Well, I'm going to say, you're the one. Predator. <laughs> I've got A or B. I've got A or B, right? A, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> because we're born on the same day. And several so years apart, obviously. Let's face you look it. Exactly the same. Let's face it, yeah. Spitting <laughs> image. And uh, B is Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg because uh, she's a strong, black, confident woman. And so are you. <laughs> As am I. And. Um, she also hasn't had much work recently, so I'm, sort of like, I'm, you, feeling, you a bit, a I'm feeling a bit. I'm feeling a bit sad for Whoopi Goldberg. Oh. I reckon she would do a good interpretation as well. It'd be like, um, like when uh, Heath Ledger did the Joker. Nobody'd be expecting it, but it'd be fucking sick. <laughs> be like, why have they cast her? It's going to be terrible. Oh my god! <laughs> Oscar-winning Oscar. <laughs> performance. Oscar written all over it. How about Ooh. you, Steve? When you're done guzzling on your oh, beans. I've got a mouthful of beans. Wait a minute. That's what Somebody she said. say some filler. I'll oh, move on to Westie for now. Then. No, I'm, I've <laughs> almost chewed through it. All right, calm Who's down. Westie? Who the fuck is Westie? <laughs> go on then, Westie, you go. Uh, fuck, I don't know. I did say Mel, say Mel Gibson before, but I forgot that he's racist, isn't he? <laughs> is it? Is Mel Gibson? Is it because you are anti-Semitic as well? <laughs> well, no, that's why I, that's, I thought it was a bad idea. I don't know how I was going for. Maybe Samuel Jackson because he's really cool. Yeah. That's, that's basically yeah, yeah, yeah. it. No, Samuel Jackson is yeah, really cool, yeah, and I'm really cool. Uh, that's where the likeness is. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> he's cool. Alas, you aren't. But to be fair though, he's he's got to be cool because when he was in Star Wars, he wouldn't do the, he wouldn't do it unless they gave him a pink lightsaber. That is just awesome, right? There. I believe it's purple. Purple. Yeah. Pur- pur- I meant purple. Sorry, purple. Uh, that is that is just awesome. Still did, it, still did it despite <coughs> it wasn't a pink. <laughs> that's disgusting, Steve. You've just <laughs> you've just lowered the tone of this oh, quality podcast, and I'm very disappointed in you. Who's it going to be, Steve? Well. It's got to be Jim Carrey, hasn't it, really? Like, yes. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, no. No. He looks like he him. Looks and just, he acts like him. Yeah. In, in the early days, before just he went serious. Before he became to be a bit of a douche and fist penguins. Or, um, I mean, now, now we're getting back to what you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> you're a douche and you fist penguins. So there we have it. We should never make a film about any of our lives. Oh, come on, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Jim fucking Carrey. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that one where he that sails? That would be the weirdest the film. Set. Like you know, like the, the oh, Avengers. The yeah. When they all come together to make one big film. <laughs> yeah. like jelly Jellyfish assemble. All, all, all these, all these <laughs> amazing actors come together to do this film. All go round in a fucking LDB pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have a better van by the end. Like. No, no. <laughs> at yeah, least I a convoy know. or something. At least a convoy. No, the fucking convoys are way too big. They're Not like, if you're superheroes, though. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Press it. We're done. We're done, are we? Oh, cool. Oh, you got low battery as well. Okay. <laughs> See you later, guys. Love you. See ya. Bye. Love you all. Bye.